And we are leading the way tonight with several breaking news stories for you. We begin just outside of Columbus and we just found out now at least six people have died and more than a dozen injured in a five vehicle crash. All of this happening along I-70 and thanks for joining us tonight at six o'clock. I'm Sheree Palolo and I'm Mike Dardis. Just devastating our Sky 5 drone catching some images from the fiery crash site early this morning. Right when the rush hour started, we know tonight students from an eastern Ohio high school were on the bus involved in that wreck. They were on this charter bus headed to Columbus. Now, this crash happened just 20 miles east of Columbus. Our WLWT News Source Karen Johnson live for us now with more on what we know tonight. Hi, Karen. Hey, good evening again, guys. That's right. Emergency management officials are now saying six people died in the crash here this morning. At this hour, though, we still don't have confirmation on the ages or if any of them were students. Medic 402, Medic 405, Rescue 401. A fiery crash on I-70. I-70, westbound, mass casualty incident. Had first responders rushing to the scene. A semi is on fire. We're working on uh, getting uh, patients out of the bus this time. A semi, a charter bus carrying high school students, and three other cars were involved. We have heavy fire on the traffic camera, and we are being advised that there is children trapped on the bus. State troopers say 18 people on the bus were taken to seven area hospitals, among them 15 children. This uh, tragedy is just... Uh, so it's really kind of hard to describe. Governor Mike DeWine confirms there are multiple deaths, but will not say if children are among the dead. As far as the fatalities, the notifications to families have just not yet been completed. Tuscarawas Valley Local School says Tuskegee Valley students, including band members and chaperones, were headed to a conference in Columbus when the charter bus was hit from behind by the semi. If, uh, hearts go out uh, to Tuskegee Valley and that school. It's a very tight knit community, rather small school, rural part of the county, and um, I can only imagine what, uh, you know, the community is going through right now. And again, uh, just a short time ago, we got an update from emergency management officials who are telling us the death toll is now up to six, six people died in this crash this morning. We are expecting an update from the Ohio State Highway Patrol. We expect to get an update within the next few hours, which will hopefully have some more information. Reporting live tonight in Licking County, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, all day long we've been talking about the semi and the bus, but now you're talking about five vehicles involved. It's going to be a while, I would assume, before they find out exactly how it all started. Do you have any idea on a timeline? Yeah, you know, uh, we asked OSP that question and they said that they're not going to put a timeline in this. As you can imagine, like you just mentioned, there are five vehicles now up to six dead, more than a dozen injured. So it's going to take some time. As a matter of fact, uh, eastbound lane, as you can see over my shoulder, has reopened. It reopened about an hour and a half ago. Westbound lane still remains shut down. There are still emergency crews here. They're still investigating. So I expect it to take a few days before we kind of know any sort of preliminary cause uh, of this crash. Back to you. All right, Karen Johnson live in Licking County for us tonight, about 20 miles east of Columbus.